And we're also getting the first in-person look at Caltrain's new electric trains. These will replace the current diesel fleet. Now, those trains are still undergoing safety testing, so no rides just yet. But we are getting a look at what those rides can soon and those riders can expect. NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez joining us from the Deer Don Station in San Francisco with some of those highlights for us. Chris, looking nice behind you. Yeah, hey, this is actually big enough for you to stretch out, Marcus. Nice roomy cabins here inside this electric train. The first thing that we noticed, though, was how quiet it was, especially since the traditional diesel train was pulling in and out of the station as we were taking a tour. Let's take you for a look inside that train. The new electric Trains will replace the 30-year-old diesel fleet. The seats are pretty comfy, and there's more room for bikes, and the bathrooms were designed with input from people with disabilities. But eventually, 75% of Caltrain's fleet will be electric, and the biggest impact will be the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and particulate matter, as well as the noise. The electric fleet will be ready to carry passengers between San Jose and San Francisco in 2024. Between now and then, there's still a lot of work to do. So it's a lot of work needs to be done for then. We've got to get our, our infrastructure finished up. We're putting up the last of the poles. We need to get our uh, overhead catenary system in place. Uh, and there's a lot of testing that needs to take place. But it's uh, once all that's done, we're going to have a world-class railroad, and everyone is going to love to ride on it. <laughs> well, everyone's going to love to ride on it. He says uh, this tour is just for us and for other uh, members of the commuter rail agencies, that, that community there. Uh, Caltrain saying that you wanted to invite everybody in and kind of make them jealous of these electric trains. Now, if you want to get, take a tour, you're going to have to wait. They're planning to open the doors to the public in early next year. In San Jose, Chris Sanchez, NBC Bay Area News.